This is a dinosaur footprint made 166 million years ago. And so far, 200 prints have been found in a quarry in Oxfordshire. Now, it's the biggest dinosaur trackway site ever discovered in the UK. And Rebecca Morell has been taking a look. Following in the footsteps of a Jurassic giant, this is where a dinosaur walked 166 million years ago. But it wasn't alone. Different trackways crisscrossed this entire site. They were discovered on the floor of a limestone quarry in Oxfordshire by one of the workers. So I was doing basically clearing the clay and I was hitting a hump. So, so like, like yeah, this, this yeah, thing it was, here? As it turned out, it was this front bit I was hitting. And when I got out and examined it, it looked like footprints. And the weird thing about it was, it was, when you sit there, it was like, I'm the first person to see them. Yeah, it was a bit, yeah, a bit of a tingling moment, really. The summer dig revealed 200 footprints stretching for 150 metres, making it the largest track site ever found in the UK and one of the biggest in the world. The trackways were made by two types of dinosaurs, large plant-eating sauropods and a smaller two-legged dinosaur called a Megalosaurus. They lived in a tropical lagoon, but the footprints were covered with sediment, perfectly preserving them. So the really lovely thing about a dinosaur footprint, uh, particularly if you have a trackway, is that it is a snapshot in the life of the animal. You can learn things about how that animal moved. You can learn exactly what the environment that it was living in was like. So tracks give us a whole different set of information that you can't get from the bone fossil record. We're coming up to a dinosaur crossroads. What you have here are footprints from a sauropod. And you can actually see as it pressed down into the mud how it created this ridge here. There is also a footprint from a smaller two-legged meat-eating dinosaur called a megalosaur. And it was moving in this direction. The question is, which one walked through here first? And scientists think it was a sauropod because you can see how the smaller megalosaur footprint slightly crushed down this ridge as it was walking through. At the Oxford University Museum of Natural History, a megalosaurus jawbone is one of their most precious specimens. The whole animal would have been between six and nine metres in length, and in life this animal would have had these impressive uh, serrated teeth. These were agile, carnivorous predators. They, they were the largest predatory dinosaurs in the Jurassic period in Britain. The future fate of the trackways hasn't yet been decided. The quarrying will go on here for several years. But paleontologists think there are more footprints, echoes of our prehistoric past, just waiting to be discovered. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News, Oxfordshire.